All right, guys, today we've got a uh, resin printer. This thing works pretty great. Loading these things up and printing. I've had some problems with supports not staying. Let's see if we can get this to focus. There we go, I think. And you can see this one's working good. This one, not so well. Yes, I am a Star Trek fan. This one printed really great on the back. Everything came out really good, but then the front got messed up because I printed it the other direction. So, I don't know, that's kind of fun. Printed my kids some uh, little TARDISes, and the, the detail on this is just crazy how fine it is. I mean, look at that. You can read Merry Christmas on it. And then this one, I printed it even smaller. And then for the most part, you can still read, if I can get it to focus, you can still read Merry Christmas on there. It's crazy how small it is. All right, here's kind of two comparisons. The red one is done on the resin printer, and then the black one was done on my FDM printer, and it's just, I mean, this one just came out looking great. It's nice and smooth. This one's all rough. That's warped. So I think this is probably the coolest print. This was done on the FDM. It prints in two pieces, the bottom half. And of course, my bed's warped, so seams turn out really great. Not. Um, but then you got this one. This was printed on that resin printer. And the detail, it's kind of hard to see because I did it in the this kind of you know, clearish resin. But I mean, every little detail that it shows on the model is there. And then uh, this little guy is kind of cute. His arms and everything move around. However, he's got a bum arm because the supports let go again. So, but I mean, that's cool. Just came right off the bed like that. Sprayed it down with alcohol, cleaned it out. All right, gonna pause it. We're zoom in over here on the printer and I'll show you how to run it. All right, so this is the Shadow 5.5. It's by QD Tech. Um, Power switches around back, which is a great place for a power switch. I've seen a couple of them where they're on the side and stuff, and I don't think that's where it should be. All right, it looks like I got some crud on it. See, that's what happens when it sits out in the garage. Um, you can go into tools. This is how you do your setup when you first get it. Um, you can go to, it was calibrate, oh, never mind. Yeah, so this is how you manually bring down your, um, the print surface up here, and then set your Z height when you first get it, and then you come over and set Z to zero. But to print, you just click print, you shove your USB stick in right here on the side, and of course they put the thing in backwards. And then it'll read it, and you can go through and select whichever one you want to do. I did print a COVID skull. It's really cool. My wife took that to school so the kids can see it. Um, and then you just click print. And when you do that, the top starts lowering down or the print surface. 
I don't have any resin in there because I'm out right now. But, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much how it runs. Right, like that. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and stop this because, like I said, there's no resin. Anyways, the operation on this thing is super easy. Um, you got your USB port on the side here. Like I said, it's backwards. I mean, seriously, it's just screwed in from the side. They could flip it the other way unless there's something inside stopping that. Um, it has two active carbon filters in here to help suck up the nasty smell resin makes. And then around back, let's put you back in the stand here. Wait, let's get you off the Bixby. All right, so around this side, there's nothing. Okay, on the back panel, we have the exhaust fan, power switch, and power supply cord. Um, the fan only runs this fan only runs when the printer is actually printing. There is a second fan inside that you can hear when you turn it on. It's going to make a liar out of me. Huh. Oh, there it goes. There's the second fan. That one actually cools, I'm assuming, the um, UV lights inside. All right, so back around the front. So once again, super easy to use. Um, I just need to work on supports and then maybe I can get, you know, like this guy, he turned out pretty good. The only problem is um, it was printed directly on the build surface. So when I went to take him off, he chipped. I also went flying across the room, this top part. Um, but other than that, I mean, if I, actually got resin print or the resin and put it in there and cured it you probably wouldn't even be able to tell that that was two separate pieces um, but you know once again if the supports if I could figure out supports on it better which I should mention the white printed way better than the red resin here's a little little rook that everybody prints and there's actually you know like a little spiral inside of there that's and the detail on this is crazy I mean there's actually writing on the bottom but yeah uh, $150 less than $150 on Amazon um, great printer, I'd suggest for, you know, starting off getting a resin printer, awesome printer to get. Um, the resin that I got was um, this stuff here, this is the white. I forgot to bring my skulls out. It's kind of cool because if you cure it during the day, because I don't have a curing station, um, it kind of turns a yellowy color, so it looks like they're old skulls that have been sitting around someplace which is kind of cool since it's you know Halloween coming up here in a week um, so I printed a couple of those I printed that um, COVID skull that my wife took to school and uh, if you print it and then cure it during the day or uh, sorry if you cure it at night it'll actually stay white for some reason if you cure it during the day it kind of turns yellow it doesn't really make a difference on the red. This was, I had used the same alcohol uh, to clean this guy. So I had some of the white resin left in there and it got stuck in all the little tiny crevices and I couldn't get it out. So, yeah, I don't know. But once again, I mean, look at the detail on that. You can see all the little bumps and everything. 
Those aren't even bumps, those are dips. <laughs> um, and of course, you know, it's a 3D printed Benchy. So, this is Christmas Benchy. I dropped him when I uh, went to get him off the plate. He went flying and broke his little smokestack off. It actually printed just perfect. And uh, he actually had a little bit of resin stuck inside of him. And I didn't notice that until after he was, I cleaned it, put it out to cure, and I had moved it. Got on the side, so I got a little bit of shiny stuff here where it spilled out. Um, but yeah, all in all, I'd say this thing is an uh, excellent printer. Works great, nice and quiet. Don't use it in the house. Um, live here in Arizona. Works great out in the garage. Uh, we'll find out how it works, I guess, once it starts getting colder. But this year, it hasn't really been a problem. And of course, now that I noticed all the gunk on here, I'm going to have to clean it. Thanks for watching, guys.